Hi there. Need to raise money, but you're tired of selling popcorn, wrapping paper, and candy? The Samaritan card is a wallet-sized discount card, which can be used at more than 100,000 popular retailers. You sell the Samaritan card to raise money, fast. It's easy. When they make a donation, they save money instead of spend money. The next time you need to raise money, sell the Samaritan card and watch your donors smile. Hey everyone, welcome to another Life of Student Ministry video post. My name is Tim Schmoyer and this is Terrace Crawford. And uh, we're going to talk with you guys a little bit uh, about some different tips you can use for lesson prep as you're mm -hmm. this very um, incredible, privileged, holy task of teaching God's Word to teenagers. Um, we're just going to go back and forth. What's your, what do you got first? First tip for sharing God's Word. Well, one of the things that um, Tim and I were talking about earlier as we were just talking about the whole process of um, assembling a message and uh, putting it together for uh, your particular audience is the fact that you need to internalize it first. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, you need to go through the process and, and the labor. It's a real um, labor in putting together a message. You've got to know where you want to go, where you want to take people you know, on, on this journey uh, through your message. Uh, but you have to experience it, and you have to, you you can't give it away yeah. until you really experience it. Yeah. So uh, I think there's real value in that, and uh, that takes that takes a while. It takes a process. So yeah. you know, if you're into the last minute planning and you know, kind of procrastinating <laughs> like we never do, um, that's <laughs> <laughs> no finger pointing. <laughs> that's uh, that's something that you have to do. Uh, it's very valuable. It's, you know, you you can't really give meaning to something um, unless it means something to you yeah for me what that looks like is uh, I, I try to at least know in my head where we're going for the next at least like a couple weeks mm -hmm. uh, some people like my senior pastor uh, has his lesson series planned out like a year in advance okay wow um, I'm not I, I can't do that you know so I, I have an idea of where I'm going in my head and then I, I've got I got to know where that is um, and I've got to put that into practice in my own life first right. because a couple of things happen when we do that. Um, uh, one, it, it, it's like it's, kids can tell if you're like teaching from a book or mm -hmm. from notes or if you're teaching from your heart, you know, and there's right. a big difference. I mean, you're teaching from your heart, it's because you've internalized it, like you said, you put it into practice and now you're, it's, it's flowing from you and who you are. And then the second, what happens as you do that is it, it, you're, you, you're passionate about it, you know, right. and your passion really comes through and passion is so contagious. People, the kids might not even care what you're talking about, but if they see that you're passionate about it, there's like, you can't help but like, want to listen to that you know so it's super important um, uh, another well, well and, and also off of that you know if you are downloading messages you know from other uh, resource entities or student ministry <laughs> yeah I've <laughs> never heard of that um, or you know you do something like that and you know I've, I've even heard guys talk before and they use stories you know one guy I know about used a story that another another pastor um, I had that was personal to him, so it's like mm -hmm. you're telling the same stories, and it's not gonna ha it's not gonna yeah. carry the same weight and the yeah. same, you know, authenticity as if it's your personal story. So yeah. even through, I believe, the process and the labor of preparing a message for your audience, God can give you some of those same reminders of things that you've experienced. Yeah, you know, that you can bring that personal touch. Yeah, don't share a story about yourself if it's not really about yourself. You know. <laughs> Uh, another thing that I, I think is uh, really important that uh, I do is that we don't ask teens to do something unless we're first doing it ourselves, you know, right. uh, to ask them to, uh, to do something that, uh, you know, is just the, like, like, for example, I'm not going to ask them, hey, when was the last time you shared your faith with someone? Tell me about it. If I haven't done it myself, right. you know, um, I'm not going to just, uh, like, expect them to do something. So I'm going to practice it in my own life first, mm -hmm. see how it works, and then share with them from my life experience, uh, like, like that one. So I think right. it's important that um, we don't ask them to do something, whether it's read your Bible, pray, uh, worship authentically, you know, if we're not first doing that ourselves. I think that's real important. Yeah, another thing I would think uh, I think is important is is kind of figuring out um, you know whether your process is okay. I want to communicate one specific point, 
during this message or up three points or, or whatever, you know, kind of figure out exactly how much um, is enough for your, yeah. for your time that you are communicating mm -hmm. and how much is too much. You know, maybe um, it's, it's, you know, 15 minutes here uh, on this particular night. And if you, if you really have more content, then maybe it needs to be a yeah. three-week series or, yeah. or whatever. So determine how much you need to say and what you want to say yeah. and uh, with the time that you have. Yeah, yeah, very good point because um, like I, I, we've spent a lot of time preparing content, so it all flows and makes sense in our head, mm -hmm. but we have to remember that when we're delivering it, this is the first time right. they're hearing it. You know, and so it might all sound good. We can process it. You know, we've been thinking about it for a while, but we got to realize that this is our first time. So we've got to, um, you know, just hit them with one main point. Right. Uh, just drive that point home real hard, um, and um, and then leave room for the Holy Spirit to work through that. And then if you got like a whole bunch of points, just spread it out over a series. That's, that's a yeah. really good point. So, um, any other last tips you think of? Well, uh, one other one, I know, I know a lot of uh, speakers do this, is they will rehearse their talk, mm, yeah. um, you know, just to, to kind of practice it before they deliver it on stage. And that's something that I don't really do. I do it more in my head yeah. <laughs> than, than rehearsing it. I know guys that actually, you know, do it in their base. They, you know, they walk through their basement rehearsing it or in their backyard or, or whatnot. And that's, or maybe for uh, friends or whatnot. Um, so that's something that you can definitely do, and I know a lot of guys and a lot of speakers that do that. I don't yeah. typically do that, but it's it's definitely a good practice, yeah. and uh, and definitely helps. Yeah, sometimes guys. I've done it before. Put a video camera up in the back of the youth room. I just tell the kids, and like it's not going on Facebook or whatever. It's just for me. And they well, that's like that. that's actually a good point. I, I've done that before. Now, I've I've set up the camera or or whatnot. I have done that a few times, and that really tells the story because mm -hmm. you can kind of see how geeky you look or you know yeah because how, like, how much you use your hands as yeah, i've you'll done do in like this video stuff like this a lot like whatever yeah. you like um you know yeah. and uh uh like uh one guy you know like scratches the back of his head you know you just don't notice that stuff right. when you're doing it until someone points it out to you in the videos so, right um it becomes like you don't notice it but it's just it's distracting the people who are listening so I hope he's been helpful. Um, I'm sure you guys got plenty of tips yourself for sharing God's word. Love to hear from him. If you don't mind leaving mm -hmm. them in the comments below here, we'd love to uh, hear some of your input and have some dialogue there with you guys. Uh, what you've been learning about um, sharing me something pretty glaring that we missed, which is very possible. <laughs> yeah, we shared you know a lot in a short amount of time. Yeah, and definitely have more that we can share on, yeah. the, on the subject. So share your ideas in the comments below. Uh, Hit us up. Yep. TerraceCrawford.com or on Twitter.com slash Terrace Crawford. Yeah. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks. we'll see you guys soon for another Life is Student Ministries video. We'll see you. All right.